This is VOA News. I'm Scott Walterman. Hong Kong and China's southeast coastline have absorbed the impact of Super Typhoon Saloa, which authorities had warned could rate among the five strongest storms to hit the southern province since 1949. Rachel Judah with Reuters has more. Strong winds, heavy rains and empty streets. As forecasters warn of winds reaching up to 125 miles per hour, Hong Kong and China's southeastern coastline braced itself as Super Typhoon Saula made landfall on Friday. The Hong Kong Observatory, responsible for monitoring weather conditions, issued a typhoon signal number 10, the highest alert level. Also issuing their highest typhoon alert, Chinese authorities have warned that Saolo could rate among the five strongest to hit the southern province since 1949. Reuters' Rachel Judah. Another U.S. conviction for the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. A U.S. judge on Friday sentenced Ethan Nordeen, a leader of the far-right Proud Boys, to 18 years in prison for his role after a jury convicted him of seditious conspiracy and other crimes. Demonstrators protested in Madrid and Malaga on Friday in support of Jenny Hermoso, the player who was kissed by soccer boss Luis Rubiales after Spain's victory in the Women's World Cup. I think it's important to come out, support uh, this movement. Uh, I think just by standing by idly, not by coming out and showing your support, um, I think we have a large crowd here. I think it just shows how many people here uh, truly care about this movement, truly care about the people of Spain, truly care about women all over the world. Spain's Sport Administrative Tribunal has begun an investigation. This is VOA News. Representatives from 12 African political and financial institutions are gathering in Kenya for a summit on climate. They've started meeting ahead of Monday's official start of the summit, as we hear now from Mohamed Youssef in Nairobi. In the past few years, countries in Eastern Africa have been ravaged by drought, putting more than 20 million people in need of humanitarian assistance. Last year, Nigeria was hit with floods uprooting more than 1 million people out of their homes, heightening food insecurity. Migration from affected areas, growing competition over natural resources and water scarcity due to change rainfall patterns have also increased the risk of violence and conflict in Africa. These examples underline the urgency driving this weekend's conference on climate change and development in Africa and the Africa Climate Summit that takes place Monday in Kenya. Mohamed Yusuf for VA News, Nairobi. Thailand's king on Friday granted former Prime Minister Thakshin Sinawatra a pardon and reduced his eight-year prison sentence to one year, just over a week after the business tycoon turned politician returned from 15 years of self-imposed exile. More from VOA's Kim Lewis. The pardon, granted by King Maha Bajivar Longhorn, was published on Friday in the Royal Gazette, making it effective immediately. Toxkin was prime minister from 2001 through 2006 when he was ousted by a military. He fled Thailand in 2008 when he was faced with serving prison time for an abuse of power conviction that he had described as politically motivated. He returned to Thailand last week and was immediately sent to prison, but was quickly transferred to a state hospital because of what was described as frail health. Kim Lewis, VOA News. Guatemala's president-elect Bernardo Arevalo on Friday denounced an ongoing coup by the country's institutions to block him from power after his political party was suspended. He told a news conference, quote, there is a group of corrupt politicians and officials who refuse to accept this result and have launched a plan to break the constitutional order and violate democracy. These actions, he continued, constitute a coup d'etat that is promoted by the institutions that should guarantee justice in our country. The 64-year-old sociologist swept from obscurity to an August 20 election with his vow to crack down on corruption dogging the Central American nation. He's been the subject of threats, and on Monday, the country's electoral tribunal suspended his party, prompting Washington to condemn anti-democratic behavior. This is VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.